easy way to remember how everything goes is that it's always products over reactants. Associate Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Dr. Marcus Ashford, is a very busy professor. When he's not teaching, I teach uh, thermodynamics on the undergraduate and graduate level. I also teach internal combustion engines, uh, both, again, on the undergraduate and graduate levels. Or building motors in his engines lab. He's in the process of applying for a patent. All his efforts are to understand and advance internal combustion engine technology. I do quite a bit of different things. All of it has to do with internal combustion engines. Um, we want to make them better. And essentially, in two ways we want to make them better is we want them to have higher efficiency, so we want to go further on a gallon, and we want them to have fewer emissions, so emit less stuff that's harmful to us. For many years, mechanical engineers have worked on solutions to help reduce vehicle emissions. However, Dr. Ashford's research takes it one step further. The main point of the research is not also, it's not just to uh, improve emissions. Um, is to do it in a way that a consumer would never notice. Dr. Ashford has designed the vapor emission system. By extracting the hydrocarbons from the vapor emissions in the fuel tank, Dr. Ashford is optimizing the gasoline for a better and cleaner start. If I had the perfect fuel to start the car with, it would be something that vaporizes very, very, very easily. What if we can take out of the fuel only the part that helps the engine start. And just by doing that and using just that fuel for the first 20 seconds or so, we were able to get better than 80% reduction in hydrocarbon emissions. And his vapor emission system is showing promise. So much promise that the University of Alabama's Office of Technology Transfer is working with a clean tech company to develop a partnership for commercialization of the vapor emission system. Although Ashford is receiving national attention, he stresses that his research wouldn't be possible without the value the University of Alabama places on research and its researchers. Having something like this come out of the University of Alabama, we are trying to build a core of research and automotive research in this state. And so not just what I do, but what I do, my colleagues, everything that we do that makes this university look good the more we get away from the stigma uh, we have where you, know, you go to a conference or whatever and people look at your work and they say, you're from the University of Alabama? You know, people don't need to be surprised by that. And the more things that we do, uh, we'll very soon be at the point where we go to a conference and people say, hey, I want to go see that. That's from the University of Alabama.